Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn how to change an element position in an array. Okay, so here I have an HTML file linking a script file that I will code the script to change the element's position. Okay, so let's write this script here. What do we need? We need a function, okay, that receives three arguments. First, the array, the original element position, we will call this from, and two, this is the index that the element will go when we change its position. So, how can we write this function? First, we create with the normal syntax of JavaScript function. We will call this change position, but you can name whatever you want, okay? And I will write the arguments that we need to insert in this function, like I described here. The array, from, and to. In the function body, I will change the element position with the method splice, okay? So I will apply this method to the array, and this method receives the future index of the element, okay? And we will pass zero to replace the element with our original element. And how we can get the original element that we are calling from? We need apply splice again, okay? So array splice, and we can pass from because it is the original index of the element one to retrieve one element, okay, and zero, because this is, will return an array. So we need the first element that is our original element. And with this snippet, we can change the element's position. But because this is a function, we need to return the new array, okay? So we return the result of this snippet of code here. And now we can apply its position to an array. So first we create our array with let, okay? And I will put uh, four elements, one, zero, one, two, three, okay? And now I will change the element one position to the last element of the array, okay? So we need to apply the function and assign the results to the array. So array equals or change position function. And we need to pass the original array that we created before, the from element or original element, because this is the second element, we need to pass index one and the position the element will be after we apply the, this function to the array. So we want to put it in the last element. So we can pass the index three, okay? And now I will log the result of our function in this array, okay? So we need to open this file on the browser and I will open with live server, okay? This is an extension of VS Code and let's see the result of our function. Here we have our new array with the element in its new position, the last position. So we pass the original index of the element that was one and the future index of the element that was three. And now the element is in the correct position after the change we made, okay? So you can use this in your arrays to change the element's position. And for today, this is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next class.